Okay, in this video, we're going to be covering um, the 15.4. And so just bear with me, I'm trying to get to, probably just click on modules. I was trying to get to the 15.4 assignment. And so again, just like the other sections, there's not very many problems in here. So some of the problems I couldn't do because they uh, didn't have anything that could be algebra algebraically or algorithmically generated, um, which means if I had done the problem, I would have done the problem for you, okay? And I didn't want to do that. So there's about three of them out of seven that I just didn't do, okay? Um, so numbers one and two were just basically verifying. So you take this integral and then you take this integral and you just type in what you get when you do them individually. Um, and similarly for this, and you should notice that they are the same. That's the whole verifying part, okay? Um, but I did do one of them, okay? So there are two, there's a third one that's just like these, except these didn't have any randomization. It's the same functions um, and the same path for everyone, okay? Um, so I did do the third one. The third one was really like a square. So in order for me to do this one, I had to come up with my own R, okay? Normally they'll give it to you, but here they did not give it to me, okay? Um, at least they'll give me some kind of relationship for X and Y, and I should be able to go from there. So um, that was pretty difficult, okay? Um, so for the first one, I was doing this. I needed to know this tells me what M is, and this tells me what N is. So if I really wanted to write my vector field, it would be Y squared comma X squared, okay? I mean, I don't need to write that, but that's what it would be. Okay, just based on who is in what spot, okay? Now, um, in order for me to do this, I have to have everything in terms of T. So what I did was I drew the picture out and it says it has square vertices. And so I went around in a certain path and I chose this path. I could have chosen a different path, but this was the path I chose. Um, so I started here, actually I started at the origin. I started from the origin and I went upward, okay? Now, when you go upward, the uh, X values are not changing at any point on here. The X values here always stay zero, right? Because that's the line X equals zero. So notice that in the X spot, I have zero. In the Y spot though, I do have T because depending on what T is, it will be either here, 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 but I am going from zero all the way to six. So depending on what that T is between zero and six, that will tell me my Y coordinate. So now I'm going from here to here. Now notice that on this path, your Y value is always six, but the X's are scooting over and over and making their way from an X value of zero all the way over to an X value of six, okay? So the X is T, and it's random and it would be from zero to six. Then I'm gonna come down this path. This is the third path, okay? Now notice that I'm on now on the line X equal to six. So the X coordinate would always be six and the Y would be a number in this path going down, 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 basically from positive six uh, Y value all the way to a zero Y value, okay? So it's going downward from positive six Y all the way to zero Y. Then if I go in this direction, I am talking about the equation Y equals zero, which is on top of the X axis, but the X values are going from six and they're making their way all the way to the origin. So the X's go from, the X is the only variable here and it goes from six to zero. Now, when we go to try to do our integral, we basically have to do the integral and break it up into four parts. So I have my bounds um, from zero to six. Uh, y squared would be this guy squared, so t squared. And then dx, well, the derivative of zero is zero, okay? And then you have your dt. 
plus x squared, which is zero squared, times dy, the derivative of this is one. Okay, so this zeroes out and this zeroes out. So this whole first integral is just zero, okay? So this whole thing will basically just cancel out and be zero. Now we have to continue with the next one. There's three parts. So here, y squared is actually six squared. And then the derivative of x would be just one dt. Then here we have x squared, so it's t squared. And then the derivative of y would be zero dt. So it's like this guy's not even there. So you really only have the integral from zero to six of this 36, and that's represented here. Now for the third one, you have y squared, which is t squared right here, um, times dx. The derivative of six is zero dt. Then we have x squared, so six squared, times dy, which is one dt. And then zero is gonna cancel that one out. And here I have the integral from six to zero of 36 dt. And then finally, the last one, we're gonna have y squared, which is, uh, I'm sorry, yeah. It should be y squared, which is zero. It's actually backwards, this is not right y squared is zero times dy dx, which is one. And then those cancel. And then here you have x squared, which is t squared times dy, well, the derivative of zero is zero dt. So you actually end up with two zeros, which means the whole thing's gonna wipe out. So I only had these two terms to integrate, okay? So I integrate this, I get 36t from zero to six and 36t from six to zero. So that's 36 times zero, six minus zero plus 36 times zero minus six. I end up with positive 216 minus 216, which is why we got zero, okay? And so that was this thing here. Now you could verify that they are um, conservative and if you, um, do that, then you should be able to say that the other is zero, but it doesn't look like this one is conservative, although it does come out the same. So interesting. So remember, I labeled m as y squared and n as x squared. So if you're going to do this formula instead, you're going to take the derivative of that n with respect to x, which is 2x, and then the derivative of m with respect to y, which was 2y. And there's a subtraction in the middle, so I kept that subtraction in the middle. And then your bounds for dA, well, both x and y are going from 0 to 6. So both um, the bounds for x and the bounds for y are 6 and 6. So the integral of this is 2xy. Integral of that is y squared. Plugged in our 6s, plugged in our zeros. We ended up with this. Then we took the integral of these two terms and ended up with six x squared minus 36, evaluated those guys at six and evaluated them at zero. And it turns out that this is also zero. So that was that problem there. Now number four, there it is. So for number four, they're asking us to do this integral with this path. Um, okay, so I wrote down my functions there. Again, don't forget that this is m and this is n. So in order for me to use this formula, um, the derivative of n with respect to x is two, the derivative of m with respect to y is one, and then I subtracted those. So really I'm just taking the integral of one. And I did do my graphs on the side. So I wanted to know where these two things intersected. So I made them equivalent to each other. Then I subtracted the x over. So I have x squared minus 3x equal to 0. I factored out the common x. And so I set each one of these equal to 0. So I got 0 and positive 3. So I knew they intersected at 0 and positive 3. But I went ahead and graphed both. So I graphed x. When x is 0, y is 0. When x is 1, y is 1. When x is 2, y is 2. And when x is 3, y is 3. And I drew that line. And then I graph this one. When x is 0, I get 0 minus 0. When x is 1, I get 1 minus 2, which was negative 1. 
When x is two, I get four minus four, which is zero. And when x is three, I got nine minus seven, or I'm sorry, nine minus six, which was three. And so this is the region that we're talking about here. Now, if you notice your y's go from the bottom, this curve to the top, that curve. And then your x's go from zero to three. And so those are my bounds. So when I integrated y, when I integrated one, it turned out to be y. And then I plugged in my bounds, distributed this negative. I eventually combined my like terms. And then I did my integration of each term and then evaluated them at three, evaluated them at zero, found that difference and it came out to nine halves. For number five is very similar. It is in, in um, theta, in terms of theta. So be very careful when you do um, that conversion. Okay. Mm, number six we have here, very similar. So this one was a little complicated. It basically, they gave me M, they gave me N. And if I use that formula, it's NX minus MY. So the derivative of this with respect to X was two. The derivative of this with respect to Y was one. So really that's just one DA. So the integral of DA is just A, which is the area of the region. And since it's a geometric region, I just found the area of the big rectangle and took away the area of the small rectangle. Since this is going from um, negative nine and X to positive nine and X, it means that that length is 18 units. And since the Y's are going from negative five to positive five, that length there is 10. And then for the little one, it's gonna be uh, twos everywhere. So it's gonna be a measurement of four and four. And so then I found those two areas, took the difference and I ended up with 164. Now the last problem is very, very similar. So I graph the region, right? The square root of X looks like this, the square root of 25 is five. Um, and so then my bounds for Y are gonna be from zero to the square root of X. And then my bounds for X are gonna be from zero to 25. And I did do um, in X, so the derivative of this with respect to X is Y. And the derivative of m with respect to y is 2y. So I'm actually just integrating negative y. I got negative y squared over 2, plugged in my bounds. I ended up with negative x over 2. And then I integrated that. And then I plugged in my bounds 25 to 0. And I ended up with the value negative um, 625 over 4. So if you have to pause that to look at it a little bit more, dissect it, because I did cover it really fast. Um, you can always do that in the videos, right? Um, fast forward it, slow it down. You can do whatever you want or speed it up if I'm going too slow. Um, but that is the end of uh, this video.